please subscribe and you can download this code from description below. Title, Troubleshooting IPython, Dealing with a Dead IP Kernel IPython is a powerful interactive command line interface for Python, and it's commonly used for interactive computing, data analysis, and scientific computing. However, sometimes you may encounter issues where IPython is unresponsive or the IP kernel, IPython kernel, is dead, leading to a less than ideal experience. In this tutorial, we will explore common reasons for IPython and IP kernel issues and provide steps to troubleshoot and resolve them. If you are experiencing IPython issues, you might encounter error messages like IPython is killing or IP kernel is dead. This can happen for various reasons, including conflicting dependencies, misconfigurations, or issues with the underlying Python environment. A simple yet effective step is to restart the IPython kernel. This can be done within your Jupyter Notebook or Jupyter Lab interface. Find the kernel menu and select Restart Kernel. This action will terminate the current kernel and start a new one. Ensure that your IPython and IP kernel packages are up to date. Use the following commands in your Jupyter Notebook or a terminal. Conflicting dependencies can lead to instability. Use the following command to list the installed packages and their versions. Review the list for any conflicting or incompatible versions. If found, consider updating or downgrading the problematic packages. Make sure that your Jupyter environment is using the correct Python interpreter. Check the Python version and path using. Ensure that the displayed Python version matches your expectations and that it's compatible with the installed packages. Uninstall and reinstall IPython and IP kernel to ensure a clean installation. If you are using Jupyter Lab or Jupyter Notebook, ensure that the Jupyter server is running without errors. Restart the Jupyter server if needed. In Jupyter Notebook, you can clear the output of all cells and restart the kernel. This can help resolve issues related to the current state of the notebook. By following these troubleshooting steps, you should be able to address common issues related to IPython and IP kernel. Remember to restart the kernel, update packages, and check for conflicting dependencies. If problems persist, consider seeking help from relevant forums or communities for further assistance. Chat GPT Title, Troubleshooting IPython and IP Kernel Issues, A Comprehensive Guide Introduction IPython and IP Kernel are essential components in the Python ecosystem, providing an interactive and powerful environment for coding and data analysis. However, users may encounter issues such as IPython being unresponsive or IP Kernel unexpectedly dying. This tutorial aims to guide you through troubleshooting and resolving these issues, ensuring a seamless Python programming experience. Check Dependencies Before diving into troubleshooting, ensure that your IPython and IP kernel installations, as well as their dependencies, are up to date. Restart IPython kernel If you notice IPython is unresponsive, Restarting the IPython kernel might solve the problem. You can do this from the IPython console or Jupyter Notebook. Restart IPython slash Jupyter server. If the issue persists, consider restarting the entire IPython or Jupyter server. Check for error messages. Look for error messages or warnings in the IPython console or Jupyter output. These messages can provide valuable insights into what might be causing the issue. Check system resources. Ensure that your system has enough resources, CPU, memory, available. IPython or IP kernel issues may arise if the system is running low on resources. Update Python. Ensure that you are using a compatible version of Python. Upgrade your Python installation if necessary. Check for conflicting packages. 
Other Python packages or conflicting dependencies may interfere with IPython or IP kernel. Investigate and resolve any potential conflicts. Reinstall IPython and IP kernel. If all else fails, consider uninstalling and reinstalling IPython and IP kernel. Check firewall and antivirus. Firewalls or antivirus software may block communication between IPython and IP kernel. Ensure that they are not causing the issue. Update Jupyter. If you are using Jupyter Notebook, ensure that it is up to date. Conclusion. By following these steps, you should be able to troubleshoot and resolve issues related to IPython and IP kernel. If the problem persists, consider reaching out to the Python community forums or seeking assistance from relevant online communities to get personalized help. Chat GPT. Title, Troubleshooting IPython, Dealing with a Dead IP Kernel. If you've ever encountered the frustrating situation where IPython seems unresponsive, displaying messages like IPython is killing or IP Kernel is dead, don't panic. This tutorial will guide you through the steps to troubleshoot and resolve this issue, ensuring a smooth and uninterrupted IPython experience. When you see messages indicating that IPython is killing or IP kernel is dead, it usually suggests a problem with the IPython kernel, the essential component responsible for executing your code within the IPython environment. The first and simplest step is to restart the IPython kernel. This can often resolve issues related to the kernel being unresponsive or dead. This command will restart the current IPython kernel, and you should see a message indicating that the kernel has been restarted successfully. Sometimes, the issue may be related to missing or incompatible dependencies. Ensure that the required packages for the IPI kernel are installed and up to date. This command will upgrade the IPI kernel package to the latest version. If restarting the kernel and updating dependencies don't resolve the issue, consider reinstalling IPython. This will uninstall and then reinstall the IPython package. If you have multiple kernels installed, conflicts might arise. Make sure there are no conflicting kernel specifications. Check the list of installed kernel specifications and remove any conflicting ones. Replace kernel underscore name with the name of the conflicting kernel. By following these steps, you should be able to troubleshoot and resolve the IPython is killing or IP kernel is dead issue. Remember to restart the kernel, update dependencies, and reinstall IPython if necessary. If problems persist, consider checking online forums or seeking help from the IPython community for more specific assistance. Chat GPT Title, Troubleshooting IPython and IP Kernel Issues Introduction IPython and IP kernel are essential components in the Python ecosystem, widely used for interactive computing and managing Jupyter notebooks. However, users may encounter issues such as IPython processes not terminating properly or IP kernel unexpectedly crashing. In this tutorial, we'll explore common reasons for these problems and provide steps to troubleshoot and resolve them. Orphaned processes, previous IPython sessions might not have terminated correctly, leaving behind orphaned processes. Resource conflicts, port or resource conflicts can prevent proper termination. Step 1, identify and kill orphaned processes. Step 2, check for resource conflicts. Ensure that there are no conflicting resource issues, such as port conflicts. If you suspect a port issue, you can use the following code to find and release the port. Kernel dependencies, incompatible or missing dependencies can cause kernel crashes. Environment issues, virtual environment or package configuration problems. Step 1, update kernel dependencies. Ensure that your Jupyter Notebook kernel dependencies are up to date. In a Jupyter Notebook cell, run. Step 2, check environment configuration. 
Verify your virtual environment or package configuration. Ensure that the packages required for the notebook are installed and correctly configured. By following the troubleshooting steps outlined in this tutorial, you can effectively address issues with IPython not terminating properly and IP kernel crashes. Remember to identify the root cause of the problem, whether it be orphaned processes, resource conflicts, kernel dependencies, or environment issues, and apply the appropriate solutions. Chat GPT Title, Troubleshooting, IPython is not responding while IP kernel is dead, what to do? Introduction IPython and IP kernel are essential components for interactive computing in Python. However, users might encounter issues where IPython becomes unresponsive, and IP kernel is declared dead. This tutorial aims to guide you through troubleshooting and resolving this problem with practical code examples. Check dependencies and versions. Before diving into troubleshooting, ensure that your IPython and IP kernel installations are up to date. Use the following commands to check and update if necessary. Restart the kernel. Often, restarting the kernel can resolve unresponsiveness issues. In a Jupyter Notebook, you can do this by clicking on Kernel in the menu and selecting Restart. Alternatively, you can use the following code to restart the kernel programmatically. Check for kernel hangs. Use the following code to check if the kernel is still alive. If the kernel is not alive, try restarting it using the code example in Step 2. Update Jupyter. Ensure that Jupyter Notebook is up to date. Check for error messages. Look for error messages in the console where you launched Jupyter Notebook or IPython. These messages can provide insights into the root cause of the issue. Clear output and restart. Clearing the notebook's output and restarting the kernel might help. You can use the cell menu in Jupyter Notebook to clear the output and then restart the kernel. Reinstall IPython and IP kernel. If the issue persists, you may want to reinstall both IPython and IP kernel. Check for conflicting libraries. Sometimes, conflicts with other installed libraries can cause issues. Check for library conflicts and resolve them. Check system resources. Ensure that your system has enough resources, CPU, memory, available. IPython and IP kernel might become unresponsive if system resources are exhausted. Contact support. If none of the above steps resolve the issue, consider seeking help from the IPython or Jupyter community forums or filing a bug report. Conclusion. Troubleshooting unresponsiveness in IPython with a dead IP kernel involves a systematic approach, including checking versions, restarting the kernel, inspecting error messages, and, if necessary, reinstalling the components. Following the steps outlined in this tutorial should help you identify and resolve the issue. ChatGPT